Well, hello there, swan dolls. I welcome you to my channel. If you're returning, I love you. And if you're new, I love you too. So today I will be showing you how to create this ice princess or a snow princess look. Now this look can kind of fit into any theme as I asked you guys on Instagram, but because of the snowy days we've been having, this look is inspired by snow. I'm gonna start off with a little skin hydration with my Hydrating Radiance Cream by Mocha Glow. And this is a plant-based product, so best believe is really popping like that. Girl, make sure your skin is glowing underneath your makeup because it seriously makes all the difference. Next, I'm using this cute rose hip oil by Measurable Difference. Uh, I am in love with rose hip. It literally works wonders on the skin and makes it extra glowy and makes you just feel like a pure royalty. <laughs> Now I'm going to take my bippity boppity eyebrow pencil from Pink Lux to work some magic on my eyebrows. Lately, I've been adding a lot less of an arch to my brow in more of a straight kind of look. I just think it really opens up the face. I'm gonna go ahead and blend in my Clinique foundation, y'all. This is one of my favorite foundations. At this point, it is my trusty steed. It has not failed me yet. It is Clinique's even better line, actually. And it does a really good job at evening things out and color correcting. Now, for my concealer, I like to use a brand called Wander, and it does a pretty good job at concealing, so that's what we're gonna do. And sorry that I keep on singing after every word that I say, but it's a thing. I also like to use setting spray to blend in my concealer, and the one that I'm using is from e.l.f. I'm gonna blow kisses at my Wanderer's palette and use a dark shade to start my contour. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty of things, so let's sip to our achievements. By the way, this is cranberry juice with frozen limes for ice cubes. So I'm using these photos I found on Pinterest for my icy princess look today. So first I'm going to add some concealer to my eyes, and I was supposed to do this before I highlighted my brow bone, which you guys will see in a second. Now I'm using the Pink Lux palette to highlight my brow bone. And you want to start by highlighting this a little more than usual because you want that super frosty look. And I'm going to take an emerald blue color, and I know it sounds daunting, but we're trying to make Jack Frost leave the building. So we're going to lightly blend this around and create a little bit of a wing. What do you think, darling? I'm going to take a kind of turquoise color and blend that into my crease. Let's take our emerald blue again and add that to our waterline to deepen our eyes. And I'm just going to add another layer of blue. We want to remind Elsa to let it go, okay? I believe it's time to lighten things up a little more with this shimmery white color. And we're going to put that right on our brow bow. And we're gonna add another layer of blue to the center of my eye because, girl, it's just what makes sense. Well, hello, dazzling skin, my darling, and we're going to use the brightest highlight on the palette. And I'm going to add that to the center of my eye, and ooh, she looking frosty! And I'm going to add this into the inner corner of my eye as well to brighten things up. And I'm just carefully touching up the edges with, yes, more of the emerald blue to blend everything in nice and neat. And go ahead and add some more highlight to the center. Shine bright like a diamond, you know. I'm also going to start from the inner corner of my eye and kind of curve it up into my brow bone and make it connect. Now, this is optional, but I'm taking a smaller brush and just touching up everything with more blue. You can never go overboard with this. It's an ice look. Guys, get icy with it. And finally, we're going to do another touch-up with our highlighter on every area that we just did. Thank you. 
And now I'm using my fancy eyeliner to go in and make this a little bit more bold. Yes, wink wink. For lashes, I'm just using these kiss ones. These babies are just the way I like them, so I 10 out of 10 recommend. And now that we have completed the look on this eye, let me move on to the other so that we can move on to sparkles. Also, if you have not yet liked this video, I heard that the like button turns frosty blue when you tap on it. For my lips, I'm just going to line it up with a dark brown shade. And then we're going to go over that with a lip gloss. You can use any kind, really. The one I'm using is just this one I had from Dollhouse 10, I think it's called. And then one of my favorite things for every look that I do is adding a little bit of highlighter to my nose. And then we're going to finish that up with the Do You Translucent Powder from Too Faced. It smells like watermelon, guys. It's amazing. Now, here comes the interesting part. The gems I used for my eyes are actually from a Kiss Nails set. So these can actually be pretty useful for makeup looks. I mean, once you're done using them, you can just pop the gems off of them, place them in like a little baggie so that you can never lose them. And there you go. You have yourself Ice Queen gems. And I wasn't super strategic in placing these. I kind of just put them anywhere I thought they'd be cute. So yeah, you can just play around with this. That is the finished look. Flawless, my darling. And I just added my snowflake earrings to set off the look. Um, I tried to wear like a little blue dress or something to add to the icy kind of look. But hey, it turned out pretty well, I think. That is the end of my video, you guys. I sure hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, swans.